Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy Paysauer, aka Boost is my friend. Please go through and smash that like button, that subscribe button, that bell notification. Comment below. The more the more that you turn around and you smash the like button for me and you comment, it brings me up on the YouTube algorithm where I can reach out to more people. Because that's all I'm doing this for. I ain't trying to make a dollar off nothing. I ain't trying to make no money off nothing. I'm just trying to put out content for y'all. I'm just trying to show my life, the stuff I know that might help one or two of you out there. And it'll all be worth it. So if I can just go throughout my day and just show y'all what I do and somebody might learn something out of it, then then it will success. Me. I got something a little different for you. James's race bike. I'm gonna show you how to take the motor off. I'm gonna go ahead and put I'm gonna show you how to install a circuit crank today. So you wanna start, you're gonna pull the bolt out here. You're gonna pull the bolt out here for your cover down here. I'm gonna pull the bolt out of this cover here. Pull it off so I can get to the, to the sprocket, and then I'll start pulling the motor mounts and the hoses loose and get all everything. Let me go ahead and get get this stuff all pulled out the way off the other side, and I'll be you back. Need with to also pull your bolt out your your rear set here, so you can get to this bottom one right down here. Also, when you pull this out, that little chain guard piece right there, a guide. Well, it ain't a guide. It's just a a blocker for the chain to keep it from coming off and eating this cover up. It goes right there. It goes like that. Like I said, when you take it off, it's gonna wanna fall off or whatnot. That's just for illustration to show you how to how to turn around and uh, how it goes when you go, go back together with it. So now, like, like I said, I got the cover off. I got a little clip right here. I'm gonna take some snap ring pliers, go in here and spread it out and pull that clip off. That way I can pull the sprocket off snap this ring side. pliers. Pull my clip off of it. Drop it in my box. Uh, drop it on the floor and then put it in my box. Now I can start pulling this gear off, pull, walking it out, because I gotta be able to get to this bolt down here, the bolt here and the bolt there. But first I'm gonna pull this off and pull the exhaust off the other side. All right, well I pulled the bolt out of that bracket right there, drop it in the box. Now I gotta get my Allen head, pull that loose. I'm gonna pull my bolts out of my exhaust, so that way we can slide it off. Figure out and pull off that bracket right there, because this is a handle exhaust here, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Your factory one has a bolt that, that goes right underneath there that you gotta pull out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, pulled out my handle. Quick. Gotta pull my two exhaust bolts. I'm gonna reach up here and unplug my O2 sensor. Like that, go ahead and unhook it down through here. I'm gonna pull my two bolts out of my intake here. I'm gonna leave my intake up in there. I don't have to pull all that yeah, stuff loose. The intake bolts out and just lifted it up. That way I don't have to unplug all that. Now I'm gonna spin my clutch bolt loose. Pull it, I gotta pull my clutch off. Gotta pull it forward and get the cable out and unhook it in here. And then I gotta go through and pull that one little uh, eight millimeter right there for a ground wire. And we'll almost be ready, and the one starter wire will be ready. Got everything loose on that side. I gotta go right up in here and unhook my pickup right here and my speedometer and hook, unhook this crankcase vent. Put a 916 on the other side or a 14 millimeter. And on this side, break these bolts loose. Other than that, it's out, so I gotta go ahead and just spin the nuts off of it. Pull the bolts out of it and we're ready to put it on the ground. Everything's unhooked, but that one motor mount bolt, I gotta pull the starter bolt off right here. So I'm gonna let it down so I can get to it. I think I can, um, I think it has a, yeah, it has a quick connect. Okay. So I'm gonna unhook the quick connect. I ain't gotta unbolt it. So I'm gonna unhook this real quick, pull the one motor mount bolt, and we'll have it out. We'll be ready to start turning the temperature sensor. I forgot to unhook it, so I got it unhooked, so now everything's loose. So I'm gonna let it down on my feet. So she's out. Oh, speed sensor. Right here. Speed sensor. Now we got everything out, so put it on the table. All right, guys. Well, that's how you pull the motor off of Z. I'm gonna cut it in two part video. I was gonna do a crank and all that, but I might have to do the crankshaft video to a whole nother video because I'm running out of time. So uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to check out the part one and part two of the crank removal or crank removal and crank the reinstall of it. So I'm gonna do the tear down the motor and put it back together. I right, thank you.